This is my tribute to Professor George Magoha, former chief, uh, former cabinet secretary for education, whose death, I would say sincerely, has caused an earthquake to Kenyans. I would say that most of the deaths in Kenya uh, people do it as a procedure but I believe right from my heart that George Magoha's uh, condolences are genuine people are really uh, expressing their genuine condolence why are people expressing genuine condolence it is because Magoha was a genuine person. Most of our people, especially leaders, they say and do something that they associate with their positions. But Magoha, what he was saying is what was coming from his head. What many people do not know is that uh, he is closely related to the famous James Onyango Joel of Zilizopendwa. They are in the same clan. James Onyango Joel, as Kenyans know, we have two names. So he is called James Onyango. His father was called Joel Magoha. So James Onyango Joel would have chosen call himself James Onyango Magoha, but he chose to call himself James Onyango Joel. Joel Magoha, the father to James Onyango Joel, was in the medicine. He was a, a medical officer. Uh, people say he's a doctor, but at his age, if James Onyango Joel is uh, in the 80s, then I think uh, Joel Magoha if he were to be alive, he would be in his hundreds. At that time, finding an African doctor was hard. So my opinion is that he was a clinical officer, and people called him Dr. So the young George Magoha, whenever he would visit Joel Magoha, the father to James Onyango Joel, he was so much taken by the... Hospital. I don't want to use the word hospitality because people take hospitalities to be hotels, isn't it? But I'm using the word hospital, the environment, the way the Joel Magoha used to perform his medical things in the hospital. That is the, one of the, or I could say, the principal. be a doctor. I'm sure you are hearing it from me, but it is true. Ask James Onyango Joy. Uh, what I want to remember about Magoha is that uh, he was very much proud. Uh, he was open with what he says. Uh, he was open with what he wants and he was doing things in the way he wanted. As I've said, he did not pretend about it. Of course, I didn't like his abrasiveness because by nature I like uh, people being diplomatic. I think my, my, when my time comes, I want to be remembered that. And another thing I didn't like about him is that uh, he reached a place where he would say he only takes instructions from his boss. The instructions come from up down and not sideways, not anything. As a, as a headmaster in the university there's a time he used to joke that he used to be a headmaster in the university and the headmaster at the university uh, a place of intellectualism I would have expected him to be more of a consultative uh, person uh, I think Matiangi will miss him because uh, they are the best dancers in Kenya him and uh, Matiangi Nobody can dance as good as they danced or 
or the way Matiangi can dance. I like the way he would go, go into the slums and uh, collect people from the slums. Although he used a lot of money in doing that, uh, something that he would have delegated. But knowing Kenya the way I, I do, is that uh, having a person so committed like him, on the day of shooting this step, there's a German who has come to Kenya and he has discovered that when he was in Germany, he met a certain Kenyan who had an NGO. And this NGO, the German used to send a lot of money to educate orphan kids, very many of them. But none, none of the kids had been educated and this Kenyan had, so the German had complained to the Kenyan authority for this Kenyan conman to be arrested. Yes, he was using a lot of uh, resources in going around, uh, personally doing that, it would have been taken cheaper. But, but the Kenyan I know is that if he would have delegated that, uh, the same case of a German would have happened. There's a time I tweeted to him. Uh, I greeted him and I said, I want to talk. Uh, when you know somebody, he talks the way he, he even tweets. I mean, a tweet has no voice, but the answer he, I got was Taz's statement. What do you want? And say it so fast. You could, when, when I was reading it, it was like I was hearing his sound. He's somebody who gave me the impression in that one tweet that um, go and get to the point. Uh, I... If Kenyan history can be written, I think whoever said that uh, we should have uh, non-politicians as, as cabinet secretaries, he is one of the few. He is one of the few. Uh, I could also say Matiangi was is also one of the few, but the problem with Matiangi is when he to, towards the second uh, towards the second term. He took uh, instructions from his boss so thoroughly, like uh, a private who is out of the recruit training school, who gets instructions from his commander and chief without questioning. But before that, when Matiangi was the minister for CTI, ICT, when Matiangi was the minister for education and even uh, internal security, Matiangi, Magoha, Njeru, this is an ICT small man, the small man in body, not small man in Ukubwa. Those are people who, when I look back, of course, with Professor Magoha, I believe that these are the people who uh, the government had in mind, or the Kenyans had in mind when they said they wanted uh, cabinet secretaries who are not uh, politicians. Looking at him, I, I would have said that uh, he is one of the few people whom Ruto should have appointed a cabinet secretary. Of course, he only appointed one, but uh, Magoha was fit to continue, especially in the either Ministry of Health or Internal Affairs. He's a doctor, but would have. Uh, been a very good uh, internal affairs minister. You remember Chris Murungaru, Christopher Dadi Murungaru. He was a doctor, uh, medicine doctor, but uh, he 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 was a minister for internal affairs. Uh, what I would uh, associate myself with him is that he. And maybe that is the why what caused his death. He's a perfectionist and a person who believes in doing it well. When it came to in my family, I also believe. Uh, I I want to say thank you to my stepbrothers. That whenever there is any occasion in the home, they take care of the finances. But I am usually left with the logistics. If you are perfectionist and you are very good in logistics. You do a lot of work and then after the ceremony is over you are fatigued i have gone through that i don't regret or anything and i think that is what killed him and if it will kill me 
so be it because you are doing something at your best it comes out well and you are happy with it and everybody is happy